Hey, these guys are gonna want to see this. birthday mom. Uh, hey, good morning sunshine. <laughs> Looks like the cat dragged you in. Mom, can you please explain to me how you and dad had two twin boys nine years apart? Mom, can you please explain to me how you and dad adopted a Martian from planet Spaz? Don't be a jerko, Rob. <laughs> Only teasing. You know we love you. It's not as much as Tommy does. Ooh, Tommy. <laughs> Who's Tommy? <laughs> Well, hey, I do got a skitty. Those tests aren't gonna take themselves, you know, so. Later days. Hold it. Are you working this afternoon after uh, school? Yeah, I'm hitching a ride with Kim. And will she be bringing you home afterwards? Uh, she's gonna be staying a little bit later. You think you could get me at around nine? I'll be there, Tim Tim. Perfect. I think you should leave him out there for all the creeps to take him. I don't know. Pretty sure Rob could handle himself. Yeah, Carrie Lynn, we all know that you can't tell your left from right anyway. <sighs> Jerk. Again, only teasing. We'll celebrate your birthday tonight. Love y'all. Hey, make good choices. Remember, no planning around. See you guys. Hey, kid. Hey, kid, over here. Didn't mean to wake you there, buddy. You must be freezing. Sort of. Just waiting for my bus. Is your bus almost here? No. I'm late over till the morning. Ain't that a bitch. You don't have anyone else you could stay with? Friends? Family? I just left my friends in Michigan, and I'm heading to my folks in Iowa. Well, I hate to see you shivering in the cold like this. How about you come along with me? I'll give you a tour of the city, a warm couch to crash on. No, thank you. Really, I'm fine. Nonsense. You're telling me you would rather freeze out here than see the sights and sleep by a nice warm furnace? 
Look, I don't judge. What people do in their own free time, I'm just not like that. Oh, you must think, <laughs> no, it's nothing like that. Name's Officer Wayne, I'm with the Chicago Police Department. Almost forgot I'm off duty, I'm not in one of the issued vehicles. Oh, well, that makes things a little less weird. I'm sorry, my mom's told me all kinds of horror stories about Chi-Town, which, now that I think about it, I don't think she's ever been. Mother knows best, usually. <laughs> so offer still stands. I'm sure seeing the city will dispel all those tales your mom told you. I mean, yeah, sure. Beats the hell out of freezing my ass off all day. But wait, you can take me back here in the morning? You betcha! Throw your bags in the back there and hop right in! <sighs> oh yeah. Much better in here. I'm Tim, by the way. Good to meet you, Tim. So very good to meet you. What's up? Uh, not much. Nothing at all? Nothing at all, dude. But, cool. Yeah, no, are you waiting on someone or do you need a ride? Or... Yeah, yeah, I'm waiting on Kim. She should roll up any minute now. That's, that's right. Right on, dude. You, you guys are like... No, 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 no. It's nothing like that. No, no, we just, we just work together. And she's got the wheels, so it's nothing. All right, well, I, you think I got a chance? Yeah, she's fair game, man. I couldn't hurt the tread. And here she comes now. You could ask for yourself. Give it a shot. Uh, you think you think you could just like put a word in for me, or I just like say just you got I, it. I don't know. I'll, okay. I'll see you, Monty. I'll see you. I'll see. You. I'll see you later, guys. Just see ya. See you guys later then. Bye. I'm telling you, man, this shit is real. And ask anybody. I don't know. I don't buy it. There's no way someone's head fell off the exact same way as it did in the movie. Exactly. Which should further prove to you that the curse is real, and it just so happened to happen past mile marker 666, and the next town over was called Omen. Now I know you're full of shit. Whatever. Don't believe me then, dickhead. Kenneth, what the hell are you doing? Relax, Michael. It's only a cigarette. Here, take a drag. No, my mom would kill me. Suit yourself, man. Freeze. Oh, shit. boy. No one wants any trouble. Last thing I want to do is bust a couple of kids. We're sorry, officer. We promise not to do it again if you just let us go. Please. A little young to be smoking, aren't we? That stuff will kill you. So I'm getting decapitated by a glass of fucking pain. What's it to you, man? Don't be a smartass, kid. I'm just trying to look out for you two. I got a boy of my own at home. Michael. My, my name is Michael. No kidding. Well, look, it's getting dark out. You two shouldn't be out so late. Tell you what, 
My shift is just about done. I can go ahead and give you boys a lift home. That way you don't have to get into any more trouble. What do you say? I'll even let you play with the siren. Yeah, I don't know about that, man. Sure, sir. That sounds cool. Sure, sir. That sounds so cool. <laughs> Hey, this isn't a cop car. I never said it was. Hey, what time are you off? I'm off at nine, but my mom's gonna pick me up, so you don't need to sweat it. Talking tonight? Story of my life, but Pete's not having a job, I guess. Well, in that case, can I borrow your jacket? Yeah. I'm working the register by the door oh, and it's yeah. already getting cold. <laughs> no, no problem. Thanks, Thanks sir. You're the best. Godzik Residence. Hey, babe. I was just about to come and get you, actually. <laughs> Me too. I've had the best year of my life, and on top of that, I've got the finest gal. <laughs> All right, bunny. See you in a flash. Hey, bunny, missing me already? Not quite your bunny here, kiddo. Ah. Jeez, um, Mr. I thought you were my girlfriend. Sorry. It's all right, son, it happens. How's she doing? Well, she's doing just fine. She just called me asking about our date tonight, actually. Which I'm about to head out for. Date, huh? Sounds nice. I don't mean to bother you, but I was hoping you could help me with something work-related tonight. Oh. Well, it's just... Don't take this the wrong way, sir, but I've been planning this date out for weeks now, and I would hate to cancel on such short notice. No worries, Gregory. I was married once. Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. Trust me, I get it. What did you need help with, anyways? Maybe I can swing by afterwards? Oh, I just need you to get down into the crowd space under my house. I can't fit in there on account of my back. You know, you're the most limber employee I got. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. What'd you need under there anyways? I just need you to dig some dirt up alongside the edges for new plumbing. Simple enough for you, pain in the ass for me. You know how it is. Come over when you can. It'll be an easy hundred bucks for you. Plus, I got your paycheck over here too. Then you can take that money and treat your gal to a proper date next time. Well, that doesn't sound too bad to me. It might be after midnight, though. Is that okay? I'll be here. See you soon. I told her I'd be off at 9. She won't mind waiting.
can't risk it. The boss comes in and sees I'm gone. My ass is totally toast. I need more hours or another job. I'm saving up for a 4 before 4 Jeep, you know? Saving up, man. Well, listen, I'm a contractor and I can always use a set of hands. You know, young, strapping young man like you. Sure thing. If you're offering, I'm totally interested. Well, you know, the, there won't be steady work until summer, but I've got projects all over the place. I've got little projects, even stuff at my house, you know. I could use a set of hands. Well, uh, how does $750 an hour sound? That much, really? Oh, yeah. I'm interested. Absolutely. Um, let me just go tell my mom. She's up front. Uh, I'll be right back. Thanks so much. Hey Kim, uh, sorry to be a bother. I don't want to let you freeze or anything, but can I have my jacket back? It's, it's my favorite one. Sure thing. Thank you. Thanks, Chad. Absolutely. Uh, anytime. I'll, I'll check you later. Hey mom. Hey. How's your birthday going? Good. Listen, I, I know it's your birthday. I know people are waiting for us at home. I'm really sorry. There's this contractor on the inside. He's offering me three times the pay that I'm making here. Uh, if you could just give me a few more minutes to talk to him, he's gonna give me an application. Three times the pay? Yeah, you know, I couldn't believe it. That sounds amazing. Go do what you gotta do, kiddo. I'll go say hi to Kim, look around, maybe pick out a little birthday present for myself. All right, awesome. Well, just look around a little bit and whatever you pick, uh, it's on me. It's your birthday, Aww. so. Sweetie. All right, I'll just give me a few more minutes, I swear. Okay. Thank you so much, you Mom. Bit. I love, love you. you. Hey, wait up! Uh, sorry, mister. I didn't catch your name. <laughs> oh, it's John. John Gacy. <laughs>